Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new products. Uh, you can see uh, there are two products that is S square C IO extend module. So these two modules used by S square C bus. Uh, this one is eight channel digital input module. So we call it DI8. And this module that is eight channel relay output module that we call DO8. So these two boards all can extend your GPL from your MCU. So and in this video, I will show you this DI8, the PCB design details, and how it works with the Home Assistant, and also this DI8 supported by the Arduino IDE. We have supported the uh, source code. OK, let's look at the first of the DI8. And you can see this in my computer. Uh, that is DI8, the uh, photo. And it's also the open source board. So you can see here the schematic diagram you can click so you will see uh, this is di8 uh, that all have the details of techniques technique and back and you can see uh, that I also have the home assistant uh, supported by ESP home you can see this is a YAML file for the ESP home so we have showed this demo for di8 how to extend the digital input for your ESP module so you can see uh, that is I squares address. You can set it here, and also you can see we can back to my homepage and the Arduino demo source code for this DI8, and you can see how to use this Arduino library and how to read the input uh, from the Arduino. Uh, there are source code and also the library can download by yourself. So this is all is open source uh, about the hardware and about the software. And you can also see this power supply support DC 9 to 24 volt. And this is the PCB size. And this is some different uh, image of the DI8. OK, let's look at this PCB details. OK, let's look at this is DI8 module. You can see it here. And this is in front. Uh, that also have an mirror. Sure. And this you have a plastic shoe. Also support install on the Dingle, and you can see uh, I can easily install the Dingle at here, just as this way. So you can just uh, fix this box uh, to your power distribution box. Okay, uh, this is the uh, appearance, and open this box, and you will see this is a PCB. And you can see this is the PCB. Uh, this is in front of this board, and this is the back. And all this socket is removable, so you can connect with your wire easily. You can see uh, that is removable. Uh, this is for digital input that have used by the dry contact signal. And this is I square C SDA and SCL line, and the DC voltage. OK, and you can see uh, this is the LED indicator of every digital input. And uh, this was the s c chip uh, that is PCF8574. So this extends the 8 channel GPL for i c bus. And you can see this is for i c bus A0, A1, A2. And you can use this DIP switch to set on and off. You can see the on means yellow and the off means one. So you can up and down to change the I square C bus. So this is very easy. And this just uh, you can connect with this bus. And this is for the input. And you can also see these details have used the lazy print on this box. And you can see uh, the power supply, uh, DC 9 to 24 volts. And this is I square C, SD, SCL, and A0, A1, A2, I square C bus. And this is digital input. I use dry contact. If you short with ground, that means trackle. And also, you can use a, a zero volt uh, to input. And also, if you, want, if you use a 24 volt power supply, and you can input the 24 volt. That means low level. And short with ground, that means high level. 
just use this logic. And this LED indicates for digital input that will be turned red or not on. So this is the, the power supply LED indicator. Okay, you can see this is very small. I can use this. You can see uh, this is the ones. And I can change this unit. Uh, you can see this easily. Okay, and uh, this you can see at here at this size. And also I can use this one, change the unit for inch. And you can see uh, this is this size. And also you can see the length. I think use this way. Okay. And about this way. Okay. And if you want to uh, print your logo uh, for OEM service, uh, you can contact with our company. And let's look at how this label print by the lazy print. Okay, now you can see the text uh, how to print on the bottom and uh, this time I will show how it works with the Home Assistant. And you can see this is our Kinkone A8 board. And uh, this has digital, 8 channel digital input, but it's not enough for me to use. So this time I will add this module so that will have the 16 channel digital input of this ESP32 module. And in the next video, I will also show you how to extend this 8 channel relay. Uh, maybe I have another DO8 board so that I will have the 16 channel relay output for this A8 board. As uh, you can see, uh, that is the A8 board. Okay, let's step by step tell you how to connect with the hardware and how to configure in Home Assistant. And you can see this we have an I2C bus. So the most important I need to connect with the SCL and SDA, uh, this two one, uh, to this board. And you can see on this board, uh, there are I2C extend interface at here, SDA and SCL. So actually, I just need to connect with this, these two pins uh, to my module and also connect the power supply uh, to these modules DC input. So, at last, it will be very easy. I just connect with this SDE and SCL uh, to these two pins, and this is the power supply, and connect to my, this one, uh, DC power supply. But also, you can see the ground, uh, it, it also can connect with the ground. This is have the GND, that is ground. And this use this module, you can connect with any PCB board, just use I2C bus. For example, if you have Kinkoni Server Mini, you can see here also have a I2C bus uh, for SDE, SCL, and ground, and the uh, 3 volt. You can just connect with this two pin, and connect with this SDE and SCL together so that you can use the Kinkoni Server Mini extend the input module. Okay, we can see this right socket, I uh, use this one, uh, this socket. So you can see I can connect with this terminal directly. You can see, just connect it directly. But you can see this watch, that is 3 volt. So this red cable, I'm not used. I can remove it. And you can see, I can remove this cable. You can see, remove it. So I just use this 3 one uh, SDE, SCL, and ground. I can 
connect with it. Because uh, it's easy for me to connect this ground. If you not use this ground, you can also use this ground. So you can see this time I need to use this power supply. You can see the power supply I will get from this red 12 volts. So I can use this cable and connect to it directly. Okay, let's back to my computer and let's look at how to add to Home Assistant dashboard. And you can see I have installed the ESP Home on my Windows PC, so just easy to debug it. And you can see it here, we can click edit. And this code you can copy from our form, you can see in our form that have DI8 Arduino source code and the DI8 ESP Home config YAML, so you can just directly to use it. And at here, you just need to change the address. So you can see, because I have the A8 board that already have a I2C chip on the PCB board, that address is 22. And this one, the DI8, that address is 27. And how to calculate the address? You can see ESP Home. And you will see the A1, A2, A0, uh, that 0, 0, 0 means 20. Because I have used this 1, 1, 1. This A0, A1, A2 is all is 1. I have 10 to off. So you can see this is our default, the DIP switch, that all is off. So it's one, one, one. So this time, we have used this address, uh, 27. Okay, we can change to 27. If you have used another i squared address, you can change by yourself. So that have extend the 9 to 16 channel data input in the ESP home. And at last, we have enabled this web service because we were easy to test with our web browser. So you can press save and install. Okay, you can see I can already connect the USB cable to my computer and click this item and this is detect, click. Okay, just wait for a moment. Then it began download the firmware to the ESP32. Because now this time I have used the Wi-Fi connect to my load and you can also use the Ethernet. Okay, you can see that have detected the device. You can see found this I square C device. This 27 is our DI8 external board. So this two board, uh, this two address is the A8 board. So you can see I can use this IP address, just this one. I can copy and paste in my web browser. And now you can see the ESP Home web, web servers is working. And you can see that have 16 channel data input. We can test it. The first uh, input one to input eight, that is A8 word. Uh, be begin the nine and until to 16. That is a DI8 board. Okay, let's test it. And you can see this state, what is changed. I can shoot for this digital input one. And you can see the digital input one, that is become on, you can see, and this is logo file. You can see off and on and off, okay. Uh, this is a uh, digital input one, and this is digital input eight. You can see, I shot that is digital input eight is on. At here, you can see this is on, and this is off, this off, and on, off. Okay, let's test this DI eight board. So, this is digital input one. You can see, I can shot for this input 1. And this time, you can see the data input 9 is on. You can see at here, the 9 is on. And this L indicate, you can see, this is on. 
So this is nine. You can see, shut, release, shut, release. So this have the early indicator will be easy to monitor the state. Let's look at uh, this channel eight. Shut the channel eight. The eight LD is on. And this time in home assistant, that is 16 channel is on. You can see off. This is off and this is on. So you can see if I shut for every digital input, you can see the LD will be on. So this LD is very easy can monitor the input state. And this is how to add this GI8 uh, to your home assistant and by the ESP home. So you can easily to extend the GPIO for digital input. If you want more input module, so this is the first one, GI8, and this is the second one, GI8, and maybe you have the third and the fourth. So the max i square c device support max 8 address in one i square c bus. So you can, if you have one, two, two DI8 module, that total will have 24 digital input channel for this ESP32 module. Okay, this is how to use this DI8 board to extend your GPIO for ESP module. Thanks for watching.